Before we talk about all that, I want to talk about you because you look amazing. Thanks, me. And you've lost so much weight. I and have, yeah. How much altogether? Well, we're into double figures of stone, so we're over 10 stone, yeah. Stone. yeah, yeah. How, how long have you done that? Two and a half to three years, about two and a half years, yeah. So fairly slow. Yeah, it's, kind of... it's just been, it's been a lifestyle change, a process. I, I was approaching my 40th birthday and you start, I think that's the point where you start, you start looking at Analyzing. what you've achieved and, <laughs> yeah, and start where you're going and where you want to be in the future and you start thinking, so, yeah, so I made a big lifestyle change and, it, yeah, so it's yeah. been... And a lot of people are going to be wondering how you've done that, but you're writing a diet cookbook, aren't you? Am, it's yeah. out next year. That'll be out next year, beginning of next year. I've so. got a funny feeling after seeing you today. <laughs> yeah. that might sell. You're not saying diet, are you? You're saying it's completely a lifestyle change. It is a lifestyle change, but it, in, it which included a diet. The, a, an, a diet that you can stick to, that's the most important thing, because so many people go on diet that they'll change what they're eating for two or three months and then they go back to what they were doing and it goes back you up can't. again. So it's so it's how you encompass a diet that you can adapt yeah. for the rest of your life. Well, how with. on earth have you died doing this show? Because you're hosting the show. Yeah, uh, this is Bake Off Creme de la Creme. And this is, it's kind of, if you love Bake Off, you're going to love this. But this yeah. is about patisserie, pastries, you know, very delicate things, but also delicious. So have you not had to taste them all the time? Well, no, I, to be fair, off screen, I did have a little bit. It's incredibly yeah. tempting. Uh, they really do. They're some of the best judges, not just of, of pastry competitions in the UK, but they judge world competitions. So they're judging this pastry, uh, creme de la creme, on their exacting standards. So it's not, you know, it's not, it's not fluffy for like TV land. They are judging these amazing pastry chefs on standards that are, are like world class high. Did you make any of it? No, not a single <laughs> thing. Like I, I know what they're doing. I have the pastry skill to understand what they're trying to do, but to create what they make. I mean, I've been a chef for 25 years, yeah. and these guys that are competed, they've been pastry chefs for 25 years. I mean, Tom, I did Master Chef. Come on, <laughs> please. Run please. Run please. Run all right, don't rub it in. <laughs> you know all about. Are they not going to be you watching do this? Yeah. I did do pastries at one point. Yeah, yeah. We, I was just saying, we were speaking in the break, and we, we, I worked with Jockey, who's yeah. an amazing chef, and he does a load of things. But I, I can't wait for this because I love the Bake Off. But it's a bit like a Bake Off Master Chef hybrid Pretty in a way. Much, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's involving incredible professional guys that are at the top of the field. Tonight's episode includes a five-star hotel, uh, guys that work in private dining in ho in restaurants that you've never mm. eaten, and guys that create. Um, supermarket desserts like development chefs that know so so much about the basics and understanding of the science of pastry so they're creating these desserts that are just jaw-dropping and stunning that will we be able to recreate them at home so we're going to watch and go oh i'm going to make that now or in Bruce's case this... attempt, <laughs> attempt. I, I think you might Badly. well be encouraged to have a go at doing something in the yeah. kitchen but it's highly unlikely you'll be able to replicate what they do because they do it in teams as well so it's not just one oh, okay. person there's three of them trying to create these amazing uh, sculptural who, pieces. Who got you interested in being in the kitchen and cooking? And... Well, do you know what? I, I ended up in a kitchen when I was about 18 years old, and it was the kitchen environment that I fell in love with. They, uh, you know, I didn't... It wasn't... I didn't grow up making cakes with my mum or that sort of thing. I just... I ended up there because it was, I suppose, a route to... Um, to earning money mm. and it was the kitchen space that I fell in love with before food really it wasn't a love of mm. ingredients it was you know being in that environment I, I quite like the late nights I quite like working weekends I quite like the fact that you're slightly you stressed because you see I mean it's a really oh. stressful environment isn't it, it and the heat and the noise awful. and people shouting it's at the you. worst worst place yeah. I've ever been in where people are so stressed out they're burnt there's things on the floor <laughs> Tea towels on fire, and that was just my stage. That's <laughs> adrenaline for me. That's excitement. That's fun. It's a great place to work. I, I, I fell in love with that kind of almost on the edge of every... Twice a day, you've got lunch and dinner that you've got to be ready for. It's mm. really exciting. It's a great thing to be a part of. Being in a kitchen and being a chef, is, it, it's kind of like a way of life. It's not a job. You, you are a chef, so it's, mm. it's all-encompassing. And what about all <clears> the <throat> new kind of food fads? Well, I don't say fads. We've got the Hemsley sisters in today, for example. Yeah. All this kind of clean food and clean living and paleo diets. What do you make of all that? Well, I think moment? it's great. I mean, I think the, the, the more... Do you know what? I think it's a reaction to more and more people taking control of cooking for themselves as well. I think the reaction from television shows, from, from great books or, or, or 
magazines and all those kind of things. That every, everyone picks up a foodie kind of magazine or watches TV mm. when people are cooking. And that, that enthusiasm that people get for cooking at home, they don't want to just cook themselves something rubbish anymore. They want to cook mm. themselves some great ingredients that they've sourced themselves. And then, you know, and everybody, I think, including myself, likes to feel that they're a little bit healthier or make it, you know... We'll make try it to be. Yeah, we all yeah. try to be. Yeah. Every now and then you have treat days, don't you? But I think... Like Easter. Like Easter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, four Friday. days over Easter. And you're a new daddy now as well. I am, yeah. He's four, 14 weeks old, little oh, AC. AC. AC, yeah. Oh, AC. Oh, there, there he is, is. look. Oh, bless oh, him. There he is. He's holding an FA Cup winner's medal there. So, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's and, an old one. But and how's your wife, Beth? She's, she's doing really well. Doing yeah. well. She's, she's actually out in Italy at the minute. She's, a, oh, she's, she's having a, a lovely time. Well, she's an artist, so she's carving marble out in Carrera, which is where she uses the marble from Italy. Just for, a casual Tuesday. Just yeah. a casual Tuesday, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, she's, she's doing good. Oh, well, listen, we can't love. wait to see at uh, the programme tonight Bake Off Creme de la Creme. It's BBC Two, 8 o'clock tonight. But Tom has very kindly, despite how busy he is, agreed to stay with us today because he's going to answer some of your culinary questions. We thought we'd do a, a cookery phone in You should today. have ring in yourself. I'm going to ring in. I've got so many. <laughs> Ryan, Send us an email. Really but the runner-up of MasterChef's here, so don't worry. People's champ. Right. People's champ. <laughs> I like.